As future Minnesota Fighting Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell gets his Rams ready for the Super Bowl, he's assembling a staff, multitasking. That's what we loved about KOC. And a name that the Vikings should add along the offensive line is legend Mike Munchak. Uh, regarded as one of the best offensive line coaches in the National Football League, I would absolutely love if the Vikings brought in Mike, who, by the way, is from Scranton, Pennsylvania. He is literally Michael from Scranton. It needs to happen. But look, our pri prices have never been lower. But since uh, Kevin O'Connell is taking so many coaches away from Denver, ah, uh, why not make this Denver Northeast or Midwest? Whatever. Don't care. And our guy, Will Raggett's over at Sports Illustrated, uh, wrote up a piece about how Vikings, ooh, Mike Munchak to replace Filthy Phil Rauscher. Because Rauscher, he, it was rumored he was going to go to the Bills, but then he went to the Jaguars. Him and Spielman. Good times, man. Well, actually, Spielman hasn't officially taken that job yet, but uh, Will wrote uh, wrote about this. Now, he's not reporting. He, he's not reporting that the Vikings aren't a Munchak. Actually, screw it. Let's, let's throw Will under the bus. Vikings, Munchak, 100% says Will Raggett, Sports Illustrated. Nah, just playing. But blah, blah, blah. Uh, one name to keep out there is Mike Munchak. Vikings are going to hire Modkins uh, as, uh, as uh, from the Broncos as running backs coach as well as run game coordinator. And you would think that Modkins and Munchak, run game coordinator and offensive line coach, work hand in glove. So that would be uh, a nice get as well. Donatello's coming over, blah, blah, blah. Munchak's uh, past three seasons as the Broncos on Fangio's staff, working with Modkins, blah, blah, blah. On that, uh, not only that, but Munchak is widely considered one of the best offensive line coaches in the league. Uh, people with his pedigree aren't available very often, but that's the case right now as new Broncos coach Nathaniel Hackett decided to go in a different direction in that spot. Munchak is a Hall of Famer and coach and blah, 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 blah. Uh, Munchak's track record is uh, phenomenal, good times. It's not Munchak. Oh, you talk about going after Bill Callahan, which I would love to. And since a couple years ago, the league... Uh, basically with, uh, took away all of the opportunities to block assistant coaches from taking lateral moves. Bill Callahan, Callahan Auto Parts, working with Quasey in in, uh, in Cleveland. I absolutely would love Callahan or Munchak. Those are my top two. If you're going to get after it on the offensive line, just go and get it. And also, uh, Bill Callahan has history with Kevin O'Connell back at Washington as well. So everything is lining up. It, it makes sense. But if you can't take Bill Callahan from Kevin Stefanski in Cleveland, I understand it. I, I get it, but Munchak is a free agent, so go out there and get him, man. And Mike Munchak, Hall of Famer, left guard for the Oilers back in the day, the pride of Penn State University. Now, Munchak is is a case that we've brought up in videos before, where he was he automatically after he retired, he went on to the Oilers staff, became their offensive line coach, and was phenomenal for you know, 15 years. But after Jeff Fisher got fired, he had a conversation with his wife, I believe, where he's like, you know. I can stick being an off uh, one of the best offensive line coaches in the league, and I can survive regime change. I'll always have a job, or I can stick my neck out and try to be a head coach. And he did that. He decided on the ladder, and he was there for three years. Didn't quite work out. He had Jake Locker. Uh, he had issues with ownership and the GM, and the GM uh, ownership and the GM wanted him to fire his staff, and he's like, no. So then they just fired him, and then they also fired his staff. But yeah, I, I respect that he didn't want to throw his guys under the bus. Awesome. And then he bounced around. He, I, I remember that he auditioned for the Penn State head coaching job. I think it was, I think it was after Bill O'Brien, because uh, I think it was after all those sanctions. Uh, I think it was before James Franklin. But yeah, I think Munchak, he put together some weird PowerPoint. It's like he literally had a puppet show. That's a callback, but. Whatever. Uh, then he went on to the Steelers as well as the Broncos. He, he's helped Garrett Bowles become one of the best left tackles in the game. He helped, helped Quinn Maynard's really hit the ground running uh, as a mid-round pick. So, yeah, I would love Mike Munchak. And, you know, the Vikings offensive line has been much maligned, except it's not as far away as people think uh, from being elite because Brian O'Neill is already a stud at his position, one of the best right tackles in the game. Uh, he's top three minimum. Uh, like, you put Werfs and Ramchek and Brian O'Neill. I think those are your top three. I understand Lane Johnson, legacy pick, but no, give me B-O-N, man. And Christian Darius, uh, you know, like we said, hey, give him a full off season where he's healthy, where he can work through a mini camp and OTAs and training camp and preseason, where he's healthy, where he can work on technique and refinement. Get after it, man. And Ezra Cleveland, I think he's really settled into that left guard spot. Uh, it's really tough as a undersized tackle to transition inside, but he's done it very well. Wyatt Davis is still Schrodinger's guard. We don't know if he's good or not. So getting him a, a competent offensive line coach, even though, hold on. 
So Phil Rauscher was really good. I respect him a lot, so I'm not throwing him under the bus. But Phil Rauscher, Mike Munchak, and Bill Callahan. It, it just is what it is, man. And also away from the oversight of Zimmer. Having an offensive-minded head coach, bringing in one of the great offensive line coaches in the game, suddenly the offensive line gets better. Whoa! Whoa, what happened? What happened? And also I think Blake Brandle showed some flashes last year. Garrett Bradbury, uh, well, they're not going to pick up his fifth-year option, so he's heading into the final year of his rookie deal. Is he salvageable? I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, Mesa Cole, I would like to have back as a free agent. But if you're going after O-line in the draft, uh, imagine this line with Tyler Linderbaum. Even though I understand fans' apprehension. Oh, Tyler Linderbaum, another undersized, uber-athletic center in the first round. Is that what you're going to do? Maybe. Tyler Linderbaum is that dude. Or Zion Johnson. Or if you're fortunate enough to land Kenny Green and kick Y Davis into center where he took some snaps last year. Go ahead. I mean, options are endless, man. But, yeah, the offensive line is pretty close. And I, I think that a guy like M Mike Munchak or Bill Callahan would just put them over the top. But we dream. We, we, we dream for now. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Vikings need to hire Mike Munchak to coach the offensive line. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.